What do humans fear? To most of the galaxy's citizens, it's a stupid question. After all, what could a death world of fear? Especially humans, the unbeatable tactical geniuses. They play sports they know could break their bones. They jump out of aircraft at heights they know would kill them, climb to altitudes with temperatures that could freeze them through their gear, where even the air is too thin for them to breathe. What could these brutes possibly fear? We asked them anyway. We looked into their films, found their best horror films and books. We didn't like what we saw. They feared the impossible. They feared abominations they created themselves, brewed within their own minds. They feared that which couldn't exist, that which couldn't be explained, that which defied everything we knew. But why would they watch these if that was the case? Who would subject themselves to their own nightmares? Surely even the humans wouldn't do this without reason. So we asked again. This time, it wasn't the general populace. We asked their military. Many of us thought it nonsense to ask the ones who subjected themselves to death so willingly. What could they out of the entire species fear? Surely, they thought, these ones would fear nothing. We were wrong. Their veterans, their dearly respected, feared much, and what they feared was very real. When we asked, they always had this look of sorrow, grief, rage, guilt even. The younger ones, the ones who hadn't been gone long, always said they feared the war, the fire, and death, and the what-ifs of what might have happened if they failed. It was the rest that struck us. They feared themselves, their history, their capabilities. They feared themselves, their willingness, their forgetfulness. They hated how every generation forgot the horrors, how they forgot their strength. They hated what they'd done and what others were willing to do. And we understood. We understood why their ambassador looked that way during the first meeting, why his face betrayed his horror. Why anyone can find the moment he realised that another race didn't mean another to understand their history. Didn't mean others to know the pain caused by their history. Why the excitement of not being alone was just as prevalent as the fear that they were the monsters they imagined would be in the stars. And we understood, even if they didn't, why humans were always gentle with the rest of the galaxy.